Perfect. And I've lived in the States since I was four and a half. So. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? How are you? Hi, Jessica. So, Fantastic. So, his, Jessica, here's the here's question. Yes, Tommy. First of all, <laughs> describe this outfit from the days of Roman gladiators. <laughs> I'll let you take a look at it first. I got a little Joey leg it's going amazing. on tonight. Thank you. Okay. And who designed it? I did. Wow. Um, I designed the outfit. Um, and I started out with the original back piece. I just wanted spikes down my spine. And Brad Armstrong was the person that made the magic and put it all together. So he made it from scratch, all of it. Your design, your creation, and who physically stitched it together? Brad Armstrong. Wow. Yeah, I right. think he outdid himself this year. He did my outfit last year as well. So there's a lot of talk about the business in Los Angeles moving, uh, having to deal with all sorts of silly rules and laws and regulations. So the question is, might the business be relocated to Las Vegas? And if it was, does that make you happy, unhappy? Would you look forward to living and working here? Well, in the light of everything that's going on um, with Measure B just passing and um, the government threatening to crack down on the adult industry, it's not really happening yet. Um, we are contemplating leaving Los Angeles, but it's such a huge undertaking and such a huge move if that were to happen. But I will say this, Las Vegas is my favorite place to go, so if the industry did really relocate to Las Vegas, I wouldn't mind, not at all. Um, but I do think that there's a long way to go before that happens, and I think that the LA County definitely values the adult industry and understands that, that we really should stay there. We generate a lot of revenue. Is there any talk of it, of Vegas? Um, yeah, absolutely. There has been talk of Vegas because Vegas does seem really friendly to us, obviously. It's where we have the Avian Awards every year. Um, but I don't think that we're to that stage yet. So. How long does that take? You're on our short list. Right? <laughs> we're on the short list. I don't know if anybody else is going to take you. Well, the but thing is, it's uh, Measure B is yet to be defined, and that's the problem. There is no actual explanation of what that measure is, so we can't be made to comply unless we understand exactly what that is. Not only that, they have no way of enforcing it at this time, so that's another thing that they have to organize for. So we don't think the, the adult industry just filed suit against Los Angeles County petitioning. Measure B. So, we'll so it's got to wind its way through the courts. Yeah, so it's a definitely. Long, definitely. A long be a while. Process. When you say it would be a huge undertaking, are you talking about the logistics of studios and crews and Absolutely. equipment and editing? I mean, and, and it's not just the people that work in the adult movies, it's everyone that's actually on the fringe as well. Um, it's time for me to do some hosting. I'm on X360 tonight, so I'll have to come back to you. Okay. The, uh, the red carpet is just getting kicked off here at the 2013 so Avian Awards uh, 30th anniversary. We're really excited to be celebrating it tonight, so I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you, sir. So a couple of questions. Yes, you're sir. The, you're the, don't be fine. A little frightened. Oh, I don't know. This is, this is, this is, so you're a crossover star, correct? Uh, you can categorize me as that if you want to use the right Um uh, I have a extracurricular extra, extra curricular activity that happens to be um, I made a one movie with Brady Stanellis and Paul Schrader with Lindsay Lohan. Right. But, um, so that was the that side of the fence and this is this side of the fence. This is what I do, this is what I love. I have no objection to doing more mainstream things. However, I have the luxury of having a solid career and something that I love to do already. So I don't need to just take anything. I can kind of just, you know, take it as it comes and when it's awesome and stuff. Um, how many movies are you up for tonight? I, 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 movies, I don't know. I think there's like 17 or 18 nominations. I don't know what they're all for, like all individual well, you know, stuff. Like, there's a good amount of cool stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty stoked. How and why did you get into this business? Um, I believe in freedom of expression and uh, always being true to yourself and basically doing what you want to do and having a good time. Well, um, it, it's some bodies, all of us. Are you kept very busy? Are you kept very busy? Uh, yeah, I, I, I try to keep myself busy. <laughs> to keep yourself careful as well? I try. I, I try to be, uh, yes. There's a lot going on and, and people are talking all around me. That's right, but I'm listening to you. I appreciate that. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
It stays on. I can wiggle and shake and it stays on. Okay. And how long did it take you to find this dress? I actually found it on accident. Um, I wasn't looking for a dress for AVN, but I, I live near an area where there's a lot of like boutique designers, and I walked in and I was like, that's awesome, and I found it. So it was kind of by accident. Now, you don't think it's a little too low cut, a little oh, yeah. too revealing? Well, there's no such thing as too revealing for the AVN Awards, although I'd rather it go above the belly button, but this is just how it's cut. I can't control it. Now, how do you think this compares with like Jessica Drake's outfit or some of the other outfits here tonight? Um, I don't know. It's nice like everyone else. It's just different. I don't know. Do you describe it as sexy? Do you describe it as I think party it dress? Is. Do you... I think it is sexy. Do you think it's sexy? I think it's smoking hot. Oh, it's, it's smoking hot. It's going to classify this. If the cameraman says it's smoking hot, smoking hot. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Take so care. We have to talk to you. Oh, we do. Okay. We have to talk to you. Do you want to help with you or not? Yes, Jessica. Hi. You know Robin, right? No, I'm with no, you. I'm just my girl, Jessica, Jessica James. How are you? Nice to see you. Okay, Ready to go. Oh. So, uh, first of all, how is this year's AVN compared? And by the way. Oh. Amazing. I mean, you look, you look unbelievable. <laughs> love your hair. Oh, I went back blonde, yes. <laughs> love your hair. Love the dress. Thank you. Um, how is this year's AVN? It's... Well, the show itself was fantastic. It was very, very busy. And tonight, of course, we're all very happy because the red carpet is extremely organized. And as you know, Robin, I'm also a So I appreciated when things are organized. We like that. from last year. We Brits like that. Me too. So what are you up for? I'm not. I barely worked last year because I, I was doing a lot of other things. I am going back to college to be an esthetician. So I did a lot of studying last year and I did the two, yeah, all that stuff. So uh, I did a lot of studying last year. So that's what I've been working on. That and rebuilding my website, taylorwayne.com. I took a lot of work because I'm doing it all myself. You've been shooting a lot of that. Oh, we have a lot of offers. I shoot for Jessica's site, jessicajames.com. And she's up for our website. And it is an amazing site. Well, I'm on it for a start, so that, you know. That's really amazing. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. She's the greatest. Yeah. We've known each other for, I think, 12 years now. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Here's a question for both of you. It's a serious question. Did all of us with the rules and the regulations in Los Angeles? Okay. Was it it be? <laughs> Tag team. Why don't they call it Measure C for condom? It's Measure B. But seriously, um, would a move to Las Vegas be logical for the industry? Actually, it's illegal to shoot pornography in Las Vegas, so it wouldn't be logical. It's a, there's only two states in the United States that it's legal to shoot adult films. One of them is uh, California, and the other state is um, somewhere that we don't want to go. I don't know. I don't remember what it is, but it's not a state that we want to go. Now, they shoot stuff all over the United States, but, but it's they not shoot legal. all stuff all over Nevada, right, all over Las Vegas. But if they were actually going to do a big move, it would be very well known that they were shooting versus just people just shooting on the side. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but Once they start pulling permits. Do you think they're shooting here on the side? Or they're, oh, sure. Sure. they're not shooting openly? Oh, in yeah, all of yeah, our yeah, hotel yeah. rooms? Yeah, well, no, we're I don't still shooting though under the radar out there. But I don't think they're pulling permits. You know, once people start pulling permits all the time, then it's official. So we don't know. I, I mean, I, it would be a good idea. So with everything else that goes on in Las Vegas, Nevada, I know. wouldn't this be logical? It seems that way. Well, you know, Brazos is out here now, so Brazos um, flies up all the girls to, to Vegas to shoot the Brazos. Do you think if uh, you, you were all forced to move to Vegas, this would be a good place to... Uh, conduct the business? Well, wouldn't it be the worst place in the world to live because one, Robin Leach lives here. I don't know if you know there that. You go. You know, that, yeah. that British guy oh, like who's rich right and now. famous. Absolutely. That guy lives here and he's kind of cool. So that that one, guy? Yeah, Robin Leach. Yeah. Okay. It's a pretty cool Got guy. It. I kind of uh, like him. Thank you very much. Big fan. But uh, so you're here and uh, it wouldn't be that bad. The weather's you nice. People would party too much here and not work? Uh, no, because I think people that work uh, they, they're just not partiers, you know. We work. You, we work hard, and people in this industry, when you when you're younger and you get in, you first get in, you party all the time because you know you you just having a good time. You want to party, but the longer you stay in the business, you realize that you've got to you know buckle down and stop being a child. And get yeah. 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 Yeah.